Morning, lads. Welcome back to the Long War. February 22nd, 2036. We're coming up on a year of in-game time. Oh, yeah. Monty Python is getting combined arms training. Oh, yes. Gonna be good. That's plus one damage on all attacks. Amazing. Right, supply raid soon. And then I seem to recall there was another squad down here somewhere. No. We are expecting an invasion on West Africa soon. Hence the presence of a fairly kitted out grenadier there. Actually, no, we can do better than that. Uh, we can't do better than that. Antic. Ooh, nice. Hollow three. Excellent. No spider suit, though. Well, that'll do. Powered Shadow Keeper. Five to seven. And Gorse Pistol is four to six. So. It's got Phantom, but Shadow Strike. I don't see Shadow Strike on any of these lads. I just need to start paying attention to my lads. If someone has Shadow Strike. And they're the perfect candidate to use that sh powered Shadow Keeper. We've got 160 to make two more sets of Warden Armor. We just need 13 Avenger more alloys. That's three more mechs being broken down. Five alloys each. Baroto has recovered from his wounds. I want to say who's Baroto? Psyop, one, two, three, four. I think we'll have, we can have five Psyops. Just bond them to various randoms. I was thinking that if I'm going to do a playthrough with Psy Troopers right from the start, I would probably bind, uh, bond them to Shinobis. Because if I think, like, who would they do well with? Obviously, Assault Trooper or Shinobi. The Mind Meld gives Ablative Armor and Crit Chance, and the Crit Chance would do better with a shotgun. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. But if I just thought to myself, would I rather have an Assault sure Trooper or a Shinobi? In almost any given situation, I'd rather have the Shinobi. Commander. I mean, we can over-infiltrate that, so there's no reason not to. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. What can I do for you, Commander? What you can do for me is you can build Warden Armor. Actually, out of Illyrium. Okay. What gives Illyrium? Oh, Illyrium crystals. Spectre corpses. I do need those for those invisibility items, though. Archon corpses. I can do that. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Excellent. There goes a faceless. I'll be gone soon. Will Williams is now a Psy Op, and that's five Psy Ops, I think. That does mean I need to build a lot more of those uh, mind lash, mind whip items. We only we kind of only have one at the moment. Commander, it's gonna have to wait. We're gonna need a psy op, uh, um, psy amp, and neuro whips, which needs Illyrium crystals, sectoid corpses, and I think gatekeeper corpses. Alien psy up. Gatekeeper shell, Illyrium core. Damn, this uses Illyrium cores as well. Throw it on the list. Yeah, boy. And there's the invasion we were expecting. Who's available? Pretty much. Well, I mean, Levin is available. Sarge. Waldo. Jackson. Chenko. Ishmael. 
We can actually put a pretty decent squad together just from Haven Advisors. The other option is we pop this supply raid here now and then use people who get out of it unwounded to help. 20 of us, 20 enemies versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Concealed start requires 100%, so use an elite sector pod. I can boost to make it a little easier. Oof! Oh, what? Naga Serpent's Archon, Elite Shield Bearer, Longbow. So I've made it a lot easier by making only 12 enemies. However, I've kind of screwed myself because now I've removed the Gatekeeper and the Sector Pod. And I want the Gatekeeper Corpse and I want the Sector Pod Corpse. Interesting. But under difficult, different circumstances, if I wasn't just about to go defend West Africa, then I think I might have let that cook. And do it in a harder version. 12 enemies. I think this is going to be the easiest supply raid mission we've ever done. I didn't know it could go that low. I thought 15 was the lowest. But my expectation now for the rest of the campaign with the global liberation goal is that we're going to be doing endless supply raids in the hot countries. Liberating the cool countries is going to be easier. And then once we've liberated all of the cool countries, then getting the hot countries liberated is going to be very, very difficult. Cool, of course, being the ones of the lowest strength, hot being the ones of the highest strength. So going back to the Psy Trooper rush, it's going to have a lot of other intended consequences because if you're going to be training Psy Troops a lot, you're going to have one or two scientists busy doing that a lot, which is going to really hurt your overall tech progression. Especially in the early game, you're going to be using ballistics a lot longer. Okay, as we've seen many times before in these supply missions, the enemies are right up our ass from turn one. There's a Muton Elite on the roof. At least the lads are in stealth to start. What would be a good starting uh, setup? I like these high cover positions here. Oh, no Ranger. Interesting. Okay, so then Stobby needs good line of sight. I think this is the best spot. Awesome line of sight at the moment. something good for all this weight moving the designated God, Hamilton is quick and I forget that she has low profile eyes on the prize and I forget that Sidorov has low profile off to a great start Probably is noob rolling eyes on the prize hostile forces spotted Now the mutons are scarier than the mechs. That's two groups of three that represents half the aliens on the map. Yeah. Affirmative. Advent Vanguard. Here's an interesting question. What's scarier, an Advent Vanguard or a Muton Elite? Can you seriously not just jump over the wall, you lazy, lazy Head woman? Got it covered. So we're gonna do our absolute best yeah, to okay. not have Azimi get reveal on this first bot. Uh, she doesn't actually have the go invis item. Yeah, I recall now that my thinking was that in these missions she wouldn't have time going to be fighting from turn one. Moving out. I'm on it. Mm. 
I still prefer a Beagle Rush ambush if I can. But if I can hit both pods with a rocket or something, I'll do that. Maybe if I wait one more turn, the mutons will path away. And then we can deal with this pod. Unless I open up with the trench gun. It's 100, 192. It's really tempting to just do that. Or, big butter boom. Considering the fact that the mechs will just stand still. The aftermath doesn't have great vision though. That's good intel. It's nice to know they're so far away. One more turn, especially like if Sidorov had better line of sight, especially if he could have seen at least one of the mechs, I might have considered that. One more turn. Better be something good for all this way. I got my eyes on. You guys can just drop down, that'll be good. Excellent. Excellent. Now the temptation here is to open up with a grenade. But the mechs out in the open make them easy targets. I think this is the best option. Uh, so 7, 18 to 23, I need 25. The dead eye is going to give me exactly what I need. And there's no need whatsoever to overwatch because the mech is standing in the open. I just forgot to check whether Stobby actually has vision on both of them. Which he does. So Traverse Fire going to do work here with these blue screen rounds. Prox Combat Rush, very nice. down nine to go All right. and we can start blue move overwatching forward the muton pod could actually be on yellow oh. alert now because okay. i think they were probably close oh. enough to hear I'm that does make azimi's job a lot more difficult in fact so much so because i know that there's at least two of the three remaining pods in that little trench there and i'm going to send azimi all the way out to the right flank just to cover that possibility Come get them. I also want to get Aftermath into a position where he can grapple up there if he needs to. There could be a situation where we're firing down into the trench and he can do so safely from there if it's the final enemy. If you say so. Bridge can I take up that position on the next turn. Dobby needs time to reload and move up. Okay, fine. We're waiting. Of course, the low profile assault trooper doesn't actually need to be in that high cover. Overwatch. Copy that. Just love the amount of ammo there. Eyes peel for the throne. Affirmative. J'y vais. I think now's the time to grab the reload. Locked and loaded. Eyes peeled for the pro. So got over. Okay, getting vision into the trench is not going to be easy. And this is actually quite tricky. There's a lot of dark map here. Affirmative. Okay, I'll go. Sure thing. 
Oh, there we go. Shit. This is not super awkward. I need to... Where are they going to climb up? Are they going to climb up there or there? I think I go back even further. Oh, no. Hamilton. Low profile. It's a little awkward. I think I want to pull back with these lads. Let these mutons take over watch as they run up. But the problem is like that mutant elite is still going to get the shot off. That was a nice lucky hit, honestly. Uh, I've got salvo. I can shoot then overwatch. Really? It's covered and get taken out? It's the problem with the bloody grenadiers. Sapper, but well, see what you need at Master Sergeant is combat engineer, otherwise you just don't destroy any bloody cover. Like ever. That's doable if I can get the uh, death from above, but that's super, super risky. I think it justifies hail of bullets. Okay, he just took it. What a beast. But now is where you wish that you had one hit point. You wish you had a ranger. Absolutely. Overwatch is crap, so we can try the slug shot. 40%. Two 15s. You got a hair trigger? You need auto. No, you don't. So that's actually my best bet. With the assault trooper, that is. I've got combat protocol, but I was hoping to leave the specialist in Overwatch. Okay, there's the final three. At least we know where they are now. Pretty close, actually. Damn, Sidorov is potentially flanked here. I want to give my gunner overwatch, but Aladdin is under more threat given her placement, how close she is. So fine, it's a reaction fire shot, which isn't great, but she might still hit something with overwatch and gets extra defense. Remember, there's a uh, war cried Newton Centurion coming here now. Sweet, one of them hit, that's nice. No, 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 please, no. Interesting, I did not expect him to come up this way. Especially because he used both of his actions, that's a big surprise. I think I need to use rapid targeting. There's a heavy mech there that I'm going to want to use the rapid targeting on. So there's the turret we expect to be there. I just, I mean, kind of want to grab these civilians. They have 15 supplies each. What am I saying? I'm getting 1,200 supplies a month. Who cares? Vitala can't see the sectoid commander, which is interesting. Bloody tree in the way. What's over there? 76 only. Uh, 76 is the most cursed number in this game. It never fing hits, I swear. Advanced teamwork to let Vitala throw another grenade. We've got three grenades left. Uh, airdrop. 
Actually, six grenades left. Annoying. I think the safest play is actually to order Vita to shoot again with a 76. I can remove panic, but then for Paladin to kill this Sectoid Commander, he's, she's going to reveal these pods that are here. I don't trust that at all. It's so scary. Or I can put Stobby over here. Take the shot and then command Stobby into cover. Advanced teamwork is it even a way I don't have to then use advanced. Do I use it and order? remaining Back in. I'm, on it. I'm expecting them to pull up in division now because they're right underneath us no okay cool i'm ready moving to overwatch Nothing gives me a turn of reload which i always appreciate I what i should actually do is sneak my specialist into a position where he can potentially nab that super heavy turret or disable it I think going for these civilians to give us supplies is a bait. Really not necessary. If they gave you a chance of loot like Illyrium cores or something, then it absolutely would be, but in the case. Um let's say grabbing them, does it reveal us? I imagine it would. Hello, nerds. Aye, aye. We'll just get closer and closer and overwatch. Whoa. Eyes peeled for the throne. I guess that'll be okay. Overwatch! Damn right. No, <laughs> that's so close. On my way. Moving to overwatch. Going up to the high cover, that is certainly going to re reveal us. I want to be able to have Sidorov grapple into that position, into the half cover. But for that, he'd need to be around here somewhere, which I think is too risky. That'll just have to do. Really, dude? Nothing? get their attention that way Heads down. why not oh, I didn't hit the shield bearer that's unfortunate so Sidorov if you grapple up he has Flank on the shield bearer. And a pretty devastating double shot ability. And a dual strike on the mech. That's what the main weapon. Awesome. I was expecting the dual strike to be with his pistol. Awesome. You know what, I don't actually have to do that. And I'm just 
conscious that there is another three enemy pod left. And if they reveal, there's a chance Sidorov could get shot by that parrot out of cover. Actually pretty dangerous. I'm MVP, I'm amazing. Awesome. Two Illyrium cores. Come on, more Illyrium cores. That's a mech, so it won't be. Elite stock, also nice. Come get them. Uh, it's going to answer the question of whether grabbing them reveals. It does not. That's an awesome little detail. So now I can grab the other ones. Whoopsie. Okay, squad site. We need to do 20 damage. We could just disable it. Uh, 17 to 21. Missed a 92% shot. Uh, shut up. I'm expecting the other pod to be in this corner here. Turret shouldn't have vision of any of us. It needs another another uh, unit to give it vision. Hello, into reveal. Awkward. But we've got Reaper, so we can slice the serpents to death and then end our turn next to the Centurion. Then it's just the spectre to take care of. Which I need the mobility from overdrive. As long as the snake doesn't dodge and the nagas tend to not be dodgy. Uh, she doesn't have whirlwind, so I can't get the essentially free slash there. Uh, we've got a hell of bullets. Can't see the specter anyway. It's surprising how often I'm using a hail of bullets just to make sure with an attack that's like in the 80% range. to kill this spectre so it's unlikely but i can probably just combat protocol zap it to death good job lads didn't kill the turret i mean maybe if i could have crowd controlled that spectre somehow i don't think i can I would have needed one more turn to grab the other civilian. Anyway, it's fine. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. 
Flawless mission, that's nice. Only together can we build a now we've got these lads, plus the other lads that are in the barracks to handle this invasion. You know, we haven't seen a regular retaliation mission in quite a while. Uh, a data tap mission or a haven retaliation. Um, can someone confirm, am I still going to get them? I expect I would, but I have killed all of the Chosen. And those are normally led by the Chosen. Another success beyond all expectations. I'm continually impressed, Commander. Untouchable is just too good. Like, as much as I want, bring him on for the gigantic crits. Untouchable is just so, so, so good. Four Illyrium cores. Mm. That deserves. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. And that's going to pay for two sets of Warden armor. What a result that was. This will prove to be an important step forward. Uh, Muton, Dedicash, Intel, but fine for, for Intel. We can actually do the other Shadow Chamber mission pretty soon. It's going to cost 50 Intel. That will uh, reveal the Forge. Black Sight Forge. Uh, who do we need? We need Prima, we need Jinko, Antic, I don't know. Definitely the Master Sergeants. On this mission, I'm kind of tempted to take out a Psy Trooper and the Templar if I get them to bond. Ugh, Marquez, garbage. Messiah Troopers, Specialist Technical, Templar, Gosai Ops, Nicolo, okay cool, so it's Nicolo and the Templar that I wanted to bond. Setting course for the West African I just want to check what the strength is in East Africa because it would have gone from 9, I think down to 6. An invasion lowers strength in the reason in the region sending the invasion. I think it's three. So we want gunner, specialist, sharpshooter, grenadier, templar. How is he feeling about the psyop? Five point seven. We'll get there. It's close, actually. Not Gonzalez, Nicolo. And we need a Ranger. Technical. And then I could do another Ranger, another Technical. Or I could do Assault and Shinobi. We already have a Ranger. Uh, which of the shinobis do you like? Because if that shinobi is available, maybe I'll do that. Uh, Song or Azimi. Uh, Azimi. Sweet. Let's roll with it like this. Uh, I could build another war suit. That depends. So our technical lad, where is he? Uh, is there a war suit available? There's not. Martin has met. Yep, that'll do. Just need to give him a plasma rifle. 
exactly one available. Uh, the war suit's only plus one armor. That's the warden that's plus two armor, I believe. Yep, plus two armor there. Carapace, stasis, overdrive. 14 mobility. I think you have enough mobility that you can survive without the combat stims. And then this will give you immunity for the whole mission. Three armor here also is pretty amazing. But likewise, I think I'm going to go for the mental immunity. That will mean that we can selectively potentially just ignore a few uh, sectoids if we need to. Got a serpent suit available, that's nice to know. Ablative, not immune to poison though, but snakes don't feel too dangerous these days. 67 aim, alien psi amp, mind shield, neuro whip. Carapace. Did I, I did build the powered Templar armor. Awesome. Jeez, I can't wait to see. We can finally see how much ablative armor we can generate on the on the Templar. Because with mind merge, it's <laughs> critical chance and ablative. Will crit chance and ablative. Sharpshooter. You can take the snake armor, I think. Essentially for the free freeze ability. In the past, I have given the snake armor to my shinobi. Which would get the dodge up nice and high. But then again, this is just, just sheer weight of hit points. Arguably is better. We can't build the alien grenade launcher yet. I am Plasma Shorty, Gauntlet Mark 3. That's a Plasma Blaster. We could probably build those next month. Need that uh, hit of resources. So, Stobby the Gunner. I think I might actually want to move onto Needle Rounds now. That's plus one against Mechanical, as opposed to plus three versus Mechanical from the blue screen. But with Shred and Cyclic... Like, he doesn't have needle rounds, but the, the ranger, I think, does. Where's the ranger? Because she doesn't have needle. She's got dragon rounds. But look, I've got shredder here on Jackson, and I've got shredder on my gunner. Honestly, we can even go venom rounds. But I've got kill zone and traverse fire. If I had... Hail of Bullets, I think I would go for the Venom rounds for the possibility of debuffing multiple enemies. Okay, this is one of the strongest squads we've ever sent onto a mission. 22 to 24 is no joke though. Quick check on Soldier AP if there's anything I want to spend right now. Negative, negative, negative. Need that combat engineer. Uh, so, and as soon as Majid trains up once more as an officer, then hopefully he'll be the officer. I really wish I hadn't trained Stobby up that high. It's 40 minutes into this episode and we're only starting this uh, Haven defense now. Invasion defense. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. But what can I say? I'm a generous god. I just don't want to wait to record this episode tomorrow. I want to take my top level squad out. We haven't maxed out yet on the on the gear that we can send out. We still need plasma blasters, alien grenade launchers, 
I'm going to have to build a number of Psy Amps and Mind Whips. So I still need a lot, and I mean a lot, of Illyrium Cores. The lowest priority on the items that need Illyrium Cores is probably the Shadow Armor to give to the Sharpshooters. It's only in very exceptional circumstances that the Shadow that these snipers would need the added benefit of the shadow armor and yes I know the shadow armor is also amazing on shinobis Shit, who's that beefy lad? Is that Vitala? Looks like the same map from the previous time we did this mission. Uh, let's work our sharpshooter there. And then everyone else work their way through this building with all the high cover that it gives. Sweet. And we have the Haven Advisor as well, so that gives me two sharpshooters. Don't, sir. Take a look, see. Enemy repéré. Sector pod inside a building is extremely rare. Antic is going to need to sprint actually to get up there next turn. But let's send everyone else out. These positions are not bad. Okay. Oh, okay. We're expecting a lot of Overwatch here. Sure thing. Overwatch. One thing that's interesting for me to think about is the fact that, I mean, sure, this sure liberated region, the Haven's going to get the shit kicked out of it. Oh, which Lord. sucks. Like, we've perpetually just spent our time in this haven just being in recruitment it's very very seldom that we actually have a full haven but that is going to change uh stubby with a beam cannon there oh, and what i mean by that is at a certain point we're going to have more than one liberated region so if you think about the fact like if, if you have three liberated regions they can really only invade one at a time Ooh, was that too close i think it was I can grapple into that position on the next turn, so that's good. No plan is proceeding as expected. I guess that'll be okay. On Overwatch! I think we leave Zinchenko out in the open with his gigantic shield 19 ambitive points Heading out. plus more I don't have to actually do it now Good Lord Moving to overwatch <laughs> 75 miss you don't see that every day and how does that sector board only have 70 aim Perfect start. We don't get full salvage from these missions, do we? I really hope we do. That sector pod would be amazing to get our hands on. Well, shit. What, my gunner and my technical to hit the sector pod? Oh, Stubby missed. 87 missed. I needed that shred from Stubby. And <laughs> missed another shot on this. On the civilians. These are some lucky civilians. But unfortunately, the AI just gets, gets to keep taking shots at civilians until one dies every turn. Shit. Suppressed, that's fine. Head down. 
Oh, I'm a lucky boy. The most I can get out of Nicola, I think, is a fuse. That elite trooper. These both these elite troopers have grenades on them. I think this is my best bet to break that suppression. Oh, fish. Oh, the assault and the shinobi are going to have to help deal with this. That Andromedon is going to be tough to deal with. Fuck, I can't even see that, lad. Well, I can just run away from the suppression, that's fine. Okay, so step one is to kill the sector pod, which involves. God oh, damn it. Stobby's officer. Can you imagine the control enemy, how great that would be? I think I want to open up with my technical. He doesn't have a bunker buster. What is tempting is a grenade there. In fact, Vitala. Can you grenade those two and make them fall down? Because that would be hilarious. It'll bring them into vision of everybody else and it'll make them take full damage. I don't have a combat engineer though, so I'm not sure about whether the floor will actually break. Curses. need the extra damage on it's super important that, that this is 18 to 23 here double tap the suit must be in melee attack mode so the shinobi can just parry it so i want the shinobi to go into reaper kill this chrysalid and then slash these two i think that's the best i can get out of my shinobi being suppressed, but I do have Shadow Step. Well, that means I can't use Reaper. And would I need vision up there to be able to slash it? Still count as being suppressed, which is bullshit. Uh, I can give someone else. An improved Overwatch, which I would want my want to be my Ranger. I'll just destroy my Sniper's cover. You gotta love this game; it's fucking stupid sometimes. That's how it's done. Move forward with Implacable. Now she's out of ammo because she's using the wrong gun. Okay, so then... Fuck. Uh, Jackson... Has got Salvo, so he can take an action. And then advanced teamwork for the free reload and the overwatch. And I need to rocket. I can't hit that dude. That's actually not a dreadful option. It kills those two. Could hit my sniper though. What's the scatter on it? Uh, 0.84. Target locked. We still need to remove the Overwatch from that gunner. We have nothing to fear. Uh, 
Aftermath has a second shot and then can move to cover because of uh, death from above. Should we do the old disable and kill something else trick? I don't think so. My gunner can reasonably easily kill it. Okay, fuck that up. Not gonna lie, the wheels are coming off a little bit. Now, Fridge, I wanted you to be able to dual strike. Now I need to command Sitter off to get into cover. We have nothing to fear. Yep. Ooh, this is useful. Frostbite, potentially. But the frostbite only two actions, so it would act again. I'm not going to be able to focus fire it. But hollow three plus the shred and all the other good stuff ought to be enough. This puts Aftermath in a pretty sticky situation. But he's got heart advantage, low profile. And we're still going to kill a number of other enemies here. Incoming just in case. Jesus, 28 damage still. to 16 that's good that helps advanced teamwork and then chain shot i want to say for a total of five shots in the same target in one turn Nicolo can't actually get into a position where he can see the gunner that's suppressing. What is Storm gonna do? I like that move. And then we leave Storm out in the open to bait a bunch of shots. of mine merged first. But they give 19 ablets of armor isn't enough. Now what is? Uh, mind merge. I need to get closer. Got a fuse, surely. That's just way too funny. I need 2 to 7 damage, and he probably won't take full damage. Insanity, 80% is pretty good. Including mental control. But I just want to see how many other hit points we can get up to. I just done. One, two, three, four. I can't even count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Oh, wow, wow, we were. Tempting to control it, but it's already almost dead. Uh, run and gun slug shot.
Hmm. That should mean that the suit's gonna attack her, almost certainly. And Tick also have half cover, but I don't like having my two sharpshooters together like that. What resources do I still have at my disposal? I actually want to put Hamilton up here so that she can do something good on the next turn. Roger that. Could well be more enemies. I really wish I hadn't done that now. That gunner does have locked on, hey? Gunner is dangerous. And yes, I've got 28 hit points. Uh, 28 episode hit points, but there is... Hmm. Don't forget the aid protocol. Wait, she's already in Overwatch. Okay, cool. So I can give someone else an overwatching shot. Like who? But there's no need. Let's just make sure the, the engineer dies. Because I don't want it costing a flashbang. A good turn. Seven enemies killed. I'm still worried about that gunner though. Jesus, what a beefy civilian. Not that beefy. Yeah, I didn't get it. I can't avoid their attacks for much longer. Uh, yeah, you can actually, Zinchenko. You can avoid their attacks for much, much longer. Oh my god. Just gotta be careful yet to make sure that I don't start rushing forward with my like quote unquote melee characters and then leave the support behind them. Uh I want to use my shinobi and my assault trooper. Really you can't reach anyone? Really, dude? Uh, that's right, I didn't give her combat drugs. Okay, fair enough. Fifteen, who's got the most hit points? The seventeen hit points there, okay. Set him up, knock him down. It must be a better way to kill that lad. Now we come here not to conquer us. Yeah, that's my best bet, I think. Although, surely some of these lads can get some flanks. Like that. But Levin needs to be overwatching for these reinforcements. Not a problem. I'm ready. I've got to make sure that I stop giving expanded mag. Moving to Overwatch. Not a problem. I want to go here, but that's almost certainly going to aggro more. If you say so. <laughs> we almost destroyed that one's cover. I can now hit these two together. That's something I didn't think about. You will pay the price. Slide disorientation. Awesome. Also now I feel like I can send my then paladin forward to double shoot that one. 
Because that would represent going one, two, three, four squares more forward, which, yes, it's scary, but... No, no, no! Is it going to reveal another pod? Probably. Uh, I'll have my Templar out in the open with his gigantic shield. Okay, good. Then Niccolo can just soul fire him to death, I think. 9 to 11 on soul fire. Jeez, that's that uh, alien Psy Amp. Copy that. 9 to 11 guaranteed right, unavoidable so damage cool. straight through armor. Mm, all right. It better be something good for all this weight. Oil got up. My mind is my weapon. What did you expect? They're moving to flank me. Oh, if they could drop right in between all of us, that would be very nice. Oh, it's a commando, though. Bloody hate commandos. Heavy Lancer. I think only the elites have uh, lightning reflexes. What did you expect? I need to start moving lads up on the left flank, pushing towards that spike so that my sharpshooters can take shots at it. Which, oh no, the sharpshooters are actually going to struggle. But you know what? Through this window and that window, I seem to get my gunner to like this position. And the spike will go down really quick. Not a problem. It's great that Hamilton has half cover. It's proven really useful. Okay, I think I can deal with that. First shot was going to be a guaranteed graze, I thought. Oh, I can't reach him, really. I can at least apply a hollow target here. The other option is to take the flank on the Naga so the Naga doesn't do anything this next turn. Okay, so the Naga is taken care of. And Sidorov can take a pistol shot at the Chrysalid. I think I want to advance teamwork so, can, so that my sharpshooter can take another shot, but with 81% higher than I was expecting. I got that one. The codex could be challenging back. to kill. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, boy. Well, good luck getting through all my ablative armor. More targets means more slash targets, reaper targets for the shinobi. Sixteen. The first one needs to be a big hit. Probably this little chrysalid here. I seem to recall that the chrysalids bypass the uh, parry. 
Or am I just taking crazy pills? Got aid protocol up, so I can, I can then put Nicolo into Overwatch. No, Werewolf, sorry. It only gets me one extra shot. Ooh, implacable, and then Overwatch from over there. Although, well, where's Jackson? Absolutely. Jackson has another another advanced teamwork. from Implicable and then I've got overwatch shots on any of these if they move we know the snake will move 12 to 16 or 13 it's a decent chance of killing that one if she can then reach the codex that'll be great she can or the snake 8 to 12 it's hoping to hit the codex Stubby, I'm just running myself up into vision of that spike as soon as possible. That loot I don't need. I could give someone Overwatch. Absolutely. I don't think I have anything useful on these enemies. Use is it's not something I can use on any enemy that's alive. Insanity can be cast on a codex, that's interesting. needs a heal. Oh, civilians. Come on, don't give up now. I wonder if Stobby has hail of bullets up. I do, but I don't have vision on the codex. I really want to kill the codex. Would this still suffer from the damage debuff from Repo? I expected well, I just want to find out. No, look, it goes back up to the usual damage as if it's the beginning of the turn. That's very interesting. Presumably Reaper is not active anymore, which is as it should be. Reaper is still active. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. I actually want the soldier attacking Storm, not the Shinobi. Because I'm pretty sure it can bypass her double hit. Uh, not double hit, what's it called? Melee parry. This is fine. That is a Vanguard though, the Vanguard is scary. Missed because of lightning reflexes, fair enough. Yup, crystal poison. Only three damage done, that's very surprising. Uh, yes, we have some enemies to kill here, but we've got reinforcements coming in. Five percent. That's not worth trying. Uh, I can hit this Vanguard. We have seen the Vanguards actually hit the Lightning Reflex using uh, Assault Troopers in the past. So I think Shadow Step is the better option on the Shinobi. Hello. Yep, 
my sharpshooters have some vision there. They do. Magentic. That's the bit for this little of your body. Uh, curses. So we take the 65 first because this has the benefit of a steady weapon. If you're in a vision on anybody else, then just overwatch because there's a lot of reinforcements coming in. Uh, two overwatch shots, I think, is fine. I'll hang on to that last free reload. I wish I had Hulk smash here. I'm gonna go for the long range zap. It's unlikely, but I might get lucky on this. 62! Yeah. I'll get him next time. Was worth a try. want to aid protocol anyone not really my shinobi is in a bit of a tough spot so maybe just give her some defense jeez look at the mobility on my templar obviously i can't invert the templar or can i not. A righteous strike. And whatever else is on the map is going to be aggroed now with this move, surely. What about CCS? That was a lucky miss. The disorientation is bloody great. Dropping right in between us again. These advent lads are slow learners. Hostile spotted. Let the shooting gallery begin. Miss. Miss. Hit finally. Miss, a lot of misses. Nailed him. Nice damage, nerd. It's funny to reflect on the fact that in a super late game like this, these civilians dying, I just don't care. <laughs> it's really... Error is mine alone. Uh oh, forgot about the chrysalid poison. I thought he would have had more hit points. Should have healed him. Whoopsie. Uh, make it a mistake. Uh, I almost feel bad for you. <laughs> Intel we don't need. The DCS we need. And I think we're in the state where we're having reinforcements every turn now. So my number one priority now is getting Stobby in vision of that spike so that I can shoot at it every turn. Oh, yeah. 
make your mind up. So I can chain shot the spike on the next turn, probably kill it the turn after that. I've got to do 36 hit points damage there. I think the extra damage from VPT might actually be needed. Although, I'll take a shot first. Burning. Free reload. Overwatch for the reinforcements. Okay, so... Run and gun here. The Great Archon is disoriented, so Close Combat Specialist shouldn't be active. It has more hit points there, so we go for the Rapid Fire. By the numbers. You do 21 points of damage, you'd need to crit, so unlikely. It's burning there, that's awesome. Shooting. Really, I can't pistol shot it. Interesting. It's destroyed, that's why I can't pistol shot it. That explains that. Scanero. Okay, I'll go. 26 killed so far. So far. Just that pot in the corner active plus some reinforcements. The reinforcements will stop as soon as we destroy the spike. I will tear you apart. See, the Templar doesn't do huge damage, but I think that's not why you take the Templar. The ablative armor and the tankiness has been absolutely nuts. Absolutely. Watch. The reinforcements are starting to get spicy now. I'm confident I can still deal with it this turn. 22 hit point Vanguard. I need these overwatches to hit. It's one. Two more, hopefully. Oh, beautiful. Yes, well done. Get it together. Oh, one hit point left. I'm gonna stubby. So, reload, chain shot. And then the assault trooper can double shoot to finish it off. change this to green just means that we will then get one final load of reinforcements to deal with so there's this what is that elite lancer and this trooper what if anything can my sharpshooters do nothing now we come here not as conquerors My thing is that eleven needs to be in uh, Overwatch. How can you not see that, dude? Lord. I want Sitter off to be on this building then. We just deal with that. If you can grapple into a flank, even better. I can freeze this Lancer. Not gonna be a flank though. If you say so. 
can't see this destroying his cover. That's a, that's a pretty solid pillar. This is for you. But at least Vitala leveled up, so she's going to get Master Sergeant now and Combat Engineer. No, that'll do it. Beautiful. I needed full, I needed max damage for the crit, and we got it. And I'll see the final pod of three enemies. I feel like these three can handle it. Especially if run and gun is up. Locked and loaded. But we'll send Nicola with them. Then everyone else just deals with that last hit of reinforcements. We've had all three loads of reinforcements drop in this square here. I just hope that continues. What I don't need is to get unlucky and have reinforcements drop somewhere where it's far away from our main squad. That would suck. And back to action. Better be something good. And then continue with the drop reinforcements right onto my ranger strategy. One of those is a commando. So the other three are going to get shot by the ranger. Hostile spotted. Oh, crit. <laughs> no crit, but a kill. Well done, lads. Sergeant. Lancer Guardian. I think I'm gonna need one more turn to get into range there. Where's this final enemy? Behind us there, okay. A vital point target and then a cheeky pistol shot. A freeze if need be as well. I mean, why not? For the lulls. does no damage for a split second i was wondering if vpt would give any instance of active on the enemy a bit of damage but that wouldn't really make sense would it beautiful and instead of your teammate is fridge you can finish him off for the bit of squad synergy i'm trusting you here i think we take the next turn to sneak up on that final pod Explosive immunity? Question mark. The forces of the occupation. Oof, I can reach one of them. Excellent. This world is ours. You know, every campaign I've always started with the Reaper. I've really developed a love for the Billy Templar of this campaign though. Ooh, I think I'm gonna we in for some hot fuse action here. There's one of those lads stood next to the vehicle. Uh, Storm has explosive immunity. But explosive immunity doesn't grant immunity from damage to Ablitor, okay? That's interesting. So it still showed him as immune, her as immune. But the ablative armor got damaged. We're learning a lot here. Interesting. Damn, run and gun's not active. I'm all over it. I'm really confident that these lads are just gonna shoot at these remaining two three, these guys. I'm going to shoot at the Templar. That's right. 
It's worth taking that shot for sure. Ready to engage. This is what we're going to do. Where's the specialist? Is the specialist still available? Yes. The specialist will give the ranger Shot overwatch in. shot, but at the edge of her vision here, I don't know how useful that's going to be. She can probably only cover around here, so not that good. Give the extra overwatch shot to the assault trooper, I think. Seven, worth a try. Missed. Fair enough. So easy. So simple. That was always going to be low. Go <laughs> rip the civilian. is open so it's up so these lads are very very dead Actually, could have given that to the Templar for the hit point, uh, the XP. Enemy neutralized. 38 enemies killed. So what, 24 base plus 14 reinforcements. That was great fun. I don't think it was flawless. I think we took some damage, I seem to recall. Or was all of the damage just ablets of hit points absorbed by the Templar? How do you pick an MVP there? Uh, probably Zinchenko, the Templar. Just absorbing all that potential damage. The Star Trooper is still very much a supporting character and isn't really doing much. But uh, the Star Trooper needs levels. It's Combat Engineer. Side op can go for another bit of training. Hacking will. Really? Only one Illyrium core. Disappointing. 16 trooper corps. Andromedon wreck is useful. Everything else not that useful. So awesome, you do get full salvage on those missions. That's nice. Azimi and Antic. Now we don't need to bond those two. Soul Steel, Soul Fire Transfer. Oh, it's got to be Domination. Even though he's going to be out now for a very, very long time. 15 days. Uh, we need more power to be able to build a second chamber. Two power. Which we don't have because I built the defense matrix. We build more power. Or hopefully we can just find. A mission that gives us more power. Is 
Red screen, shredder. These all take Illyrium cores, so we're not going to use them. And the barracks looks pretty good, actually. Uh, tired, unfortunately. If I give them a week to recover, I can potentially send another high-level squad to go do another facility mission. I think that is what I'm going to focus on. Like I said, we've got loads of uh, network towers we can do. Strength 4 on that network tower. Strength 9 there. How come the strength didn't go down after the invasion? Weird. Hmm. What I could do is, look, because we've already got this group doing this facility. We wait for the other guys to recover and then we start doing headquarters. So then this one can go, this country then, New Chile, can go fully into supply gathering. Meaning that only West Africa and New Chile would gather supplies. Every other country can do full intel gathering. I think that's what I want to do. Just out of interest's sake. What kind of squad can we put together right now? Setting course for Sector 4, Chile. Gunner, specialist, ranger, technical, sharpshooter grenadier there is tired, and I really want a master sergeant sharpshooter, infiltrating, infiltrating, I need to wait the, the week, do I, ranger, technical the Templar is busy another gunner another specialist maybe I can plot Ishmael but I just need two more ooh if I wait four days then we can send multi-python and Terry Cruz with combined arms giving us plus one damage to everybody within command range. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, alloy padding, advents, extra armor, four days. I think we'll rather do that. Because with the boost, we can probably get that done. For the West Asian corridor. And it probably won't even take that long. The timing might even line up with some of those key people coming out of either wounds or officer training. It's a hack workstation and a facility. So if we go gunner, specialist, it's in the slums. These lads are going to be tired off to this mission, but maybe that's fine. Ranger, technical. 10 to 12 versus 4. How about an assault and a shinobi? Or a lower level spark? 5 versus 13 to 15. And this is the 13 to 15. And maybe that's pretty good. Instead of a spark, we can send a side group. It's a fight in the slums versus 13 to 15. We've got a super powerful technical, a super powerful ranger. Uh, we have elite expanded, that's way better. So the blue ones have expanded magazines, the brown ones have auto loaders. Do it that way. Yep, and it's brown, that's good. Elite, advanced, elite hair trigger, elite scope. I think I kind of want to go just go back to the good old blue screen 
I mean, it, there's just no better way to kill a mech than that. It's just the best way to do it. Um, I think that's pretty good. 13 to 15 versus these lads. So, Stobby and Sonar, Werewolf and Priest, Pendragon. Oh my lord, look at the length of this episode. An hour and 40 minutes. Whoopsie. I'm going to have to go back and cut this in half. It's just way too much. It's too long. Wait. Boost infiltration. Okay, what else did we get? Workstation. That's already being infiltrated there. These days. Ambush enemy troops for six days. Reduce enemy strength. Damn it. I mean, the shinobis really aren't useful in those missions. Huh? Active missions in the region. Where is Marquez? In New Indonesia. <sighs> it's like, if I do this, then I can pull him out quickly. Okay, when we come back, we'll quickly do this mission, faceless mission. And then we'll pull Marquez out and see if we can send him into that ambush ambush enemy because six days plus the boost might be doable but we don't have great troops available okay thanks for watching friends i'll see you tomorrow for your daily dose of long war of the chosen